I'm hey, just... good morning everyone. Hey, you hit play on this. Are you ready to go, dude? <laughs> We're ready to go. Hey, my name is Fred Weaver. My business partner Kevin Coffin's not here and uh, you're watching Short Sale Power Hour. I am joined today by the very powerful, famous uh, Joshua Jarvis out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. And I have no idea what we're going to talk about, so I'm going to learn all at the same time. So right. what, what do you want to talk about today, man? Well, uh, I'm in the Atlanta area and uh, we love referrals. Joshua Jarvis, if you can't find me by typing that into Google, then uh, you don't have to call me. So <laughs> Always the salesman and Drew and Dustin, I'm sure you'll put his information <laughs> below here because I love this guy. All right, well, uh, so I was talking to him, they've got the Outback mindset. But see, the bank has another mindset. It's called the no mindset. And what that means is that every time that you send a file in, you, you just taught about this great class. You said uh, that the bankers have jokes about their own negotiators, so you can't even see them in their desk. Yeah, yeah. Because there's like, there's just stack so many files file. stacked right. up on so top of them. And if the average person has 100 files, they get paid to make they get paid to approve short sales? No. Is that what you taught? No. No, they very frequently get bonuses. Very, very small percentage of them. But you said, I think you said they got paid to make decisions. Yes. Okay, so a yes, approve the short sales a decision, and a no is also a decision. So if you've got an employee that's making a low amount of money, and all they have to do is make a decision, what they're looking for in your file is the quickest way to make that decision. Yep. So if you don't have a complete file, and if you're not following up, the easiest way to do that is just decline that. So this is why you have to have a complete package like you guys were talking about. And I've got a case in point where uh, I was actually telling uh, a new hire that we had on the way up here about this, about this file that we've got where the closing happened and the, uh, they, this guy had a HELOC on it. It was zeroed out, but they didn't subordinate it. So we're getting ready to do the short sale. Yes. And Wells Fargo is saying, hey, we deserve this amount of money. And USAA was in first position saying, hey, no, we deserve this money. We're in first position. Long story short, after several phone calls and doing a nice day, day, day phone call and going through the litigation team and everybody else, we're gonna be closing on that at the end of this month. Nice. And USAA has sent not one, not two, not three, but four times that they tried to record this release that says that their client doesn't owe the money. And the whole catch of this thing is the client is, is beside himself because he still thinks he owes the money. Like he doesn't know, we just we just basically got him $120,000 wow. just, just disappeared. So, but it's, it's staying to it and understanding that where they're coming from, they just want to make a decision. They don't, it's nothing against you, they just need to make a decision. Well, I'm, and the story you're referencing is in our Crush It Short Sale class, we talk about some insight we were given from a city mortgage manager. He's actually not a city anymore, he's now at the bank that remains nameless. But um, he shared with us that they're, they were supposed to decision on a monthly basis 10% of all the files they okay. had. And when he said decision, we're like, well, what does that mean? He goes, well, you know, loan modification approval, deed in lieu, short sale approval, short sale denial. And I went, that makes sense because I remember even like when Countrywide was still a mess and they were on their own, I remember for a couple weeks span there, I was sending files over to Countrywide. They weren't even ordering BPOs and they were denying my files. Yeah. And I was like, what the heck's going on? And it, and it made me realize, you know what? They're not meeting their criteria. It's the, actually it was the end of the quarter. They're not meeting their criteria, so they're trying to decision amongst the files so they don't look bad to upper level management right. and their investors. They're just trying to move the paper. So guys, you gotta absolutely own your files. Yeah. Own them to a whole other degree and not be willing to accept no. That's it. I love it, man. You ready to wrap it up with me? Yeah, Let's I'm, go. I'm already, hey, I was getting ready to clap. And what, what's your video blog? Because you do a video blog too. I know it's more aimed at homeowners, but what's your video well, blog? Well, I've got uh, AtlantaShortSaleListings.com uh, is where we have all of our video blogs. We've closed okay. over 100 short sales in the last three years. Wow. Uh, we were doing it when it wasn't cool. Yeah. Um, so that's you're going to find a lot of information on there, but we've also started other ones like AvoidAtlantaForeclosure.com that's really geared towards homeowners and doesn't just contain all the all the short sale information so sweet well you know our web guys because they've helped you out and done some stuff so yeah. i'm sure they'll they'll promote all your stuff down here below josh jarvis from atlanta georgia area check him out if you need any help down in that area and we're gonna wrap it up one two right. three short, short sale, sale power hour short, short sale power, power hour crush, crush it, it.